Come on, Eli. Let's, 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 let's go to the word. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters. To do what? To acknowledge those who work hard among you. Who do what? Who work hard among acknowledge you. Acknowledge those who are grinding in the ministry on your behalf. See, the one thing the church has to remember is that you ain't the only one. Your family is not the only family. And we got a little tiny church. We love our little tiny church, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's 72 other families that need help like yours. You got to cut the workers a little bit of slack. They may not go. You just left the message Monday at 3 p.m. Now you're ready to leave the church because you ain't got a re return phone call, but it's only 4.15. Right, 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 right. <laughs> see my wife, see? It's only an hour and 15 minutes. He's just mad. I, I forget them. They can't even, I told him, I, I text him 911. But, 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 uh, but I was over at the joyous house handling, handling her 911. Then right after her 911, we had to go see Joy at the hospital because she crying because of, of the report she got. Then we got to go see Sister Auntie because she got a flat tire over there on 696. Like, Y'all don't understand what we got to tackle. <laughs> Good way to say it. Good way to say it. So acknowledge those who work hard. Y'all know the ones that are working hard around here. You see it. Among you. They are a part of you. Right, evangelist? Okay. Uh, Eli, go on. Who care for you in the Lord. Who care for you in the Lord, and they do what? Admonish they you. They admonish you. Somebody standing in the gap. Somebody's turning their plate down when they're hungry for your family because they family good. Somebody losing sleep over you uh -huh, when they, could, 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 they, they, they had about 30 more minutes on the clock. But the Lord woke them up and said, hey, pray for Brother Johnny. Hey, uh, 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 wake up right now. Pray for Sister Tondla. Right? Come on, Eli. Read it. Read it. Read it. Hold them in the highest regard. Woo! Pause there. Let it simmer. Be respectful. There's some people that are really sincere about ministry. Hold them in high regard. Those of us that are sincere about ministry didn't say perfect in ministry. Never said that. Said sincere. Amen. The Bible says to hold them in high regard. That means... <laughs> hold them up in the physical and the spiritual watch who coming round watch the enemy as he lurking round hold them in the highest regard that means pay attention too that don't just mean honor all the hey hey pastor God bless you no, no. sometimes it just means watch I'm, I'm, I'm watching over my pastor right now I don't know them I'm, 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 I'm looking at something. She's smiling too much in his face for no reason. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing funny. Why she laughing so hard? A little too much. Just, just, just being, I'm regarding, I'm considering you. I'm paying attention, right? As well as the honor. The honor for the sacrifices. The honor for the showing up two, three hours before church even start. The honor for putting out the chairs that you just come and sit in. Right? And then you just leave. Somebody got to put chairs up. So we hold them in high regard for making us comfortable and making sure ministry continues to go forth. Amen? Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Go. Hold them in the highest regard yeah. in love. Uh, in who? In love. In who? In love. Because of what? Of their work. Because of the work that they do in the ministry. We okay? All right. Thank you, Pastor Mel. Got one amen. Let's go. All right. Keep going, Eli. Live in peace. Live in what? Peace. Peace. 
Chase. Pursue. Chase. Peace. That's why I said it's too easy that we're letting some of our brothers and sisters get away. It's too easy. It was too easy for them to go. That's one of the reasons, Pastor Mel, Lord laid it on my heart to do this back home for a day. Because you got away from us too easy. And then and watch this. Some of them gone with no church home. They're just, just gone, just sitting kind of in the, the, the spiritual abyss, just kind of just out there floating. Uh-uh, get back home. We let them go too easy. Says Tanya, there was no meeting. There was no, there was no two or three gathered in his name. God be in his name. You know, nobody came together and said, hey, let's, let's see if we can work this out. Well, I don't like her, Tamiko. I just don't like her. Well, 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 why? What happened? We got all ty- types of time and space around here to come together. We got Zoom. We got uh, FaceTimes where we can try to pull our family back together. Just because we had a disagreement don't mean that we need to fall out with the ministry that you say you were called to. The church has to protect itself. Evangelist Maya just told us a, 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 a ministry divided or a house divided on itself will not stand. Amen. Everybody good? Okay. All right. Come on, Eli. Go, 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 go. Live in peace with each other. Uh huh. And we urge you. It's urgent that brothers and sisters do what? Warn those who are idle and disruptive. Oh, you see why I'm so hard on you now, son? I do. Because, because being idle creates a playground for the enemy. What, what's the saying? An idle mind is the, is the devil's workshop. That's what they say? Yeah. Too much time just to sit around and conjure up stuff. An idle mind. You're supposed to be here on the drums. You're supposed to be here on the security team. You're supposed to be here with the outreach crew. You're supposed to be cooking chicken and wonder bread and stuff in the kitchen. You, wherever you're supposed to be. We like how you put the little spread on the wonder bread. We, we like it when you do it. Yeah, you're anointed to put that spread on there. It's just something about how you. <laughs> right? Yes. Yes. Warn those who are idle. But look at this one. Look at the next one. And disruptive. When you don't show up to your post, you disrupt the procedures that were put in place. Okay, let's do a drastic one. If Jay Mitty doesn't come tonight, who plays? That's a basic one. Who plays? I, y'all don't want to see me over there. I'm rusty. <laughs> I'll be like, Pastor, just stop. <laughs> We're okay. Yeah, right. Uh, um, um, but 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 if but if but if but if just Phil Tree, who you got with you tonight, Phil Tree? You by yourself? Oh, Tamiko. Okay, so so it's just a few of y'all. So it's Tanya Dillard out on medical, basically, right? So now, Tamiko, you don't show up. It's not as drastic as what we would notice with Jay Mitty. Phil Trees back there struggling because now she's got to make sure everybody in here comfortable. See? We don't notice it as much because it's not the piano. But just that little bit of disruption. You told her it was your night to usher. 
But you, I can't make it tonight. I'm going to stay on home. Okay, now you just left since Phil Tree's hanging. That causes a what? Disruption. That's detrimental. Come on, Eli, read the word, man. Encourage the disheartened. Mm-hmm. Help the weak. Uh-huh. Be patient with everyone. We're the church. This is the stuff the church is supposed to do. Honor, respect. Don't be idle. Don't be off on your post. Show up when you promise to show up. It ain't about money. It's not about gigging, bro. J. Mitty. It's about the service. I'm on tonight. It's my turn. Okay. It's my turn to take pictures tonight. I'm on. All right. Come on. Let's go. Anything I can do to help the ministry do what it does. Right? And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Heartbroken folk around here. There's a lot of broken heart. There's a lot of broken pieces. All right? Help the weak. Help those. Speak for those that don't have a voice for themselves. Every now and then, one of these members right in here, right in this room right now, will come up to me and, and, and put $100 in my hand and say, Pastor, take, 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 take mom out this week. Now, I ain't need $100 to take her out, but thank God. That God bless you. Just look at how the, the Lord obviously laid it on their heart to bless the pastors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Help. Bless. Yeah, yeah. And that that's the pastors. Surely. We we pretty all right. Y'all know my career. Y'all, y'all know what I do. I don't have to flaunt that kind of stuff. But th- there's others that might be in a little jam. You'll see them around here. You'll see the ones that's getting off the bus. You'll see the ones that are walking. You, you know the ones just had a transmission go bad. And it's going to have to wait a month to get it fixed. Slip something in their hand quietly. The Bible said only the left hand don't need to let the, the, the right hand know what it's doing. I paraphrase it, but it's something like that, right, Evan? Quietly. Here you go, get your transmission fixed, $500. Don't tell nobody, shh, don't say nothing. All right. Make sure that nobody pays back what? Wrong for wrong. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong. Does that need to be broken down anymore? No. Keep going. But always strive to, to do, do what is what? Good. We letting people go too easy. And then we, we letting bad in too easy. You can come, but don't come in here causing foolishness. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand you're coming to church because foolishness then attached itself to you. But don't unleash the foolishness on us. Bring it in here. We're going to fix it for you. Amen? Amen. Okay. 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 Strive to do what is good. Watch this now. For who, Eli? For each other. And then it went on to say, and who else? And for everyone else. Did it say you? Yeah. We're supposed to be looking out for each other. Where did all this selfishness come from? The only thing we want to make sure is good is us. Yeah, you know, uh, and, 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 and we got to do better in that area. Jesus said, love each other as I have loved you. They will know that you're attached to me, not by how many scriptures you know, not by how big your church is, not by how dope your musicians are, not how wonderful and colorful your broadcast is, but they will know you are attached to me by the one evangelist, the love you show one to another. This ain't black, white. This ain't haves and have nots. This is all kinship and discipleship. 
Amen. All right. Strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word as we continue to keep it in our hearts. Every now and then I have to pause and get out of format for a moment to show us what it means to be a church. <laughs>